Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I am so excited to do today's video with you guys because we're gonna be doing a little experiment, if you will. So if you work with epoxy resin, you've probably colored yours by using alcohol ink, glitter, mica pigment powder. Well, I wanna take it a step further and use some random things around my house like nail polish, eyeshadow, lip gloss, paint, just all kinds of stuff. So if you're curious to see how this experiment turns out, keep watching. Okay, so if you are following along or maybe you wanna do your own testing with some resin, what you're going to need for this craft is a silicone mold of some kind that you are pouring your resin into, um, some kind of cup, or measuring device that you are measuring your two-part resin with because it has to be perfectly equal parts of part A and part B mixed together. So I like this one because it's silicone so it's like really easy to clean and it has little measurements on it so it's perfect every time. Um, but I'm also using these little Dixie paper cups to mix all of my individual things that I'm testing out with my epoxy resin today and some popsicle sticks to stir with. And then obviously your part A, B epoxy resin that you're working with. So the things that we are going to be testing out today. So of course, we're just gonna do some plain old glitter, some alcohol ink, some mica pigment powder, some acrylic paint, but I wanted to try some things that might turn out. I don't know how they're gonna turn out, but most of us have laying around our house. So I'm gonna be using this nail polish and this lip gloss and some old eyeshadow. I think I got this from like Rue 21 or something. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna be mixing some eyeshadow in with it and we're gonna see how these little samples that I'm gonna be pouring into the silicone mold are gonna come out. So let's get experimenting. Okay, so first, safety first, and we gotta put on our gloves because we are working with some harsh chemicals here. So first things first, we're going to mix up our part A and part B. There's part A, and that is um, 40 milliliters. So now I'm going to be pouring part B. Forty milliliters also. Okay, and then we are ready to stir up our epoxy. Okay guys, so we have our resin all mixed up. So now I'm going to be pouring in resin in each cup and putting in all of my little ingredients here. So now that we have all of our resin in here, I'm going to take off one glove so that I can pour my ingredients in here. Probably should have like opened all these containers first because now I'm gonna have to open them all one-handed. Let's see. <laughs> okay, so we all know that this alcohol ink is gonna work. We just love the way alcohol ink looks. Oh my gosh, okay. So now I'm gonna use my popsicle stick. Bloop. Okay, so funny story about the nail polish. I love this nail polish. Um, for those of you asking, no one. Sally Hansen Insta Dry, but I just love this um, color. It's like a slate color, metallic y kind of. Um, the brush came off in this bottle, and of course, I can't open this up one handed. Okay, I kind of cheated. Um, so, look, there's like no brush on this, <laughs> it's somewhere in there. So, I don't know why I've held on to this. I just, I just have. So, we're gonna be pouring some nail polish into here. 
Ooh, I'm excited for this one. Wouldn't it be so great like if all these come out and then you have like a million other options that you can mix stuff with like, oh, I'm out of money or oh, I can't go to Michael's or Hobby Lobby this week or my husband's tracking my Amazon. So <laughs> now you can use things around your house with your out of crafting supplies. Glitter we know is gonna work. We just love to see it. Um, acrylic paint I know is gonna work. And you don't need a lot with acrylic paint, like literally just a tiny bit. And then some lip gloss. Okay, this might be a little bit harder. I'm taking off the other glove. I don't think we need it now. So I don't know how I'm gonna do this. I'm I guess I'm just gonna like get as much as I can on the little applicator and then just I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Let's just see. Someone out there is laughing at me right now. I just know it. I don't care. This is for science. And my curiosity. I'm doing just a tiny bit. I don't know if you guys can see that. But we're doing it. Okay. And now... For some eyeshadow. Someone out there is going to cry over this or uh, yell at me. I, I mean, either way, but I'm doing it. I'm so sorry. I should have made this like one of those like ASMR videos. I don't know. You guys watch those? My daughter's like obsessed with them. Okay. This is gonna be cool. I can already tell. I just figured eyeshadow is just like mica pigment powder. I mean, really? mix up our ingredients. So this is the acrylic paint. Look at that. So now we are just going to pour these into our little molds. I believe I got this mold at Michael's. I think I got it like in the baking section. Right, so this one is the, oh, so this one is the lip gloss. Okay, so now for the glitter. Now for the nail polish. Okay, now for the eyeshadow. Oh my gosh, do you guys see this? Do you guys see this? Beautiful. And then the mica pigment powder. All right, so I'm going to leave this setting for the rest of the day and then I will show you guys how they turn out. Okay guys, so it has been about six hours. So these have fully cured. So now I'm going to pop them out and show you how they came out. So this is the mica powder. As you can see, it completely colored the epoxy. This one is just the glitter. Gorgeous. Now this one's the lip gloss. And it honestly didn't come out too bad. It's almost see-through. But I think it's pretty cool. 
This one is the acrylic paint. I'm not sure <laughs> what all that is, but that's the acrylic paint, completely solid. Okay, this one's the eyeshadow, so I thought this one was gonna be similar to the Mica pigment powder, so let's see. Yeah, pretty solid. Um, it looks pretty close. Um, the eyeshadow has a lot more glitter in it, but that's pretty cool. Pretty cool alternative. Okay, this one is the alcohol ink, which we knew would work. This is kind of my go-to choice, and it's see-through also. And then, last but not least, this is the nail polish one, which it looks like some of it kind of settled on the bottom there. But other than that, I mean, it still looks pretty cool. So honestly, all these came out. I was kind of concerned with some of them not coming out or maybe like affecting the way the epoxy cures, but they all cured and these are all options that you could use if you were out of crafting supplies or you're just wanting to play around with some epoxy like I do. <laughs> I found this pretty fun to do, so let me know if I should do more of these epoxy videos where I'm just like testing stuff. I would love to put like some crazy stuff in epoxy and see how it comes out. So if you guys want to see that, let me know. All right guys, so I hope you liked this video as much as I did. If you want to continue to see me experiment with resin, just let me know that in the comments. If you like this video, be sure to let me know by giving me a big thumbs up. And don't forget to click that subscribe button below so you don't miss out on any other crafting tutorials or experiments.